Hey guys, today we're going to focus on adding two three-digit numbers and then we'll talk about uh, real quick about how to subtract two three-digit numbers as well. We're going to start out by doing a uh, decomposing strategy and we're going to first do one where we don't have to uh, regroup and then we'll do one where we have to regroup. So the first one we're going to do is 424 plus 143. So to decompose it, we're going to write down the place value of our hundreds. So we're going to write 400, and we're going to add it to our 100. And that gives us 500. Next thing we'll do is go to our tens place, add the values of our tens. So it's 20 plus 40, and that gives us 60. Now an easy way, if you're not sure about 20 and 40, cover up your zeros and look at the basic fact of 2 plus 4 and that'll give you 6 so the answer would be 60 just take away your fingers and add that 0 back alright and finally our ones place 4 plus I like to mark it so we make sure we check it off 4 plus 3 gives you 7 and finally when we're done we're going to recompose it by putting them back together again and you really can hear it when you when you read it 500 67. So our final answer is 567. And on that one, there was no regrouping. So let's try one now where we have to regroup. So now on this one, we're going to add our hundreds values 200 plus 600. Negatives 800. Let's add our tens digits, the values, 40, and that's 80. So we're getting to pretty big numbers here. So just, you, you know, cover up the zeros and use your basic fact. 8 plus 4 is 12. Now put the zero back on. Don't forget that step. Very important. Because 40 plus 80 wouldn't give you 12 anyway if you stop and think about it. All right? So it needs to make sense. Every move you make has to make some sense. Otherwise, you don't really understand what you're doing. So slow down and Think about it before you move ahead. Now, with our ones place, we have 7 plus 8. And now, if you know your double facts, 7 and 7 is 14, 8 is one more, so that's going to give you 15. So now, just like we did over here, it's time to recompose. So now we have 800, and another 100 gives you 900, and 20 more would be, give you 920, and another 10 would be 930. And five more, 935. That's a pretty big number. And that time we did have to or regroup. Now, quick draw is a little bit, takes a little more, more time. It's a little more time consuming. But sometimes, you know, we'll go there. And uh, if that works for us, we'll use it. So I'll go ahead and use our example of, uh, let's go with the one where we had to regroup, since it's a little bit tougher. So 200, I'm going to draw my squares from my hundreds. I'm going to draw my sticks as uh, my tens, so we have 247. 10, 20, 30, 40, and then seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now we just drew out the first number. Let's draw out the 688. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 80, well, got a bunch to draw here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're going to go to our ones and see, because we had to add, we're going to add up our ones. And if we end up with 10 or more, we'll, well, if we end up with 10, we're going to circle them and regroup. If we don't, we'll just write down our value of our ones. So let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we'll stop right there and we'll regroup 10 of them. Before we forget, let's regroup it. Right there, that's regrouping it. Okay, now, all right, now we have one, two, three, four, five ones left. So we'll write down our five ones. Let's count our tens, see if we have ten tens. If we do, we'll do the same thing, except we'll regroup it as a hundred, because we know ten tens gives you a hundred. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, and we do. So we have to regroup that as a hundred. Be careful when you're circling it. Make sure you circle the right amount. I'm going to double check it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good. 
regroup that as another 100. So now, let me count how many 10s I have left. 10, 20, 30. So the value there is 30. Whoops. All right, and let's count our 100s. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. So we'll write the value there. And when we put it back together, 900 plus 30 plus 5 gives you the same answer as that, 935. One more uh, strategy that we'll look at today is this other one. It's a place value. I call it the W method. Not quite sure what the real term is for it, but we're going to work it out. We'll go with the uh, the one where we have to regroup because of those are always the more difficult ones. And if you're able to do those, the other ones are a piece of cake. So let's go for it real quick. All right, we're going to look and we need to add our hundreds. So this has hundreds and this also has hundreds. Now, if for some reason your second number doesn't have any hundreds, just stick with whatever you have for your first hundreds. You're not going to add it to this because that's a tens place. That's not your hundreds. All right, so you're adding this, only the same places values to each other. So that's 200 and 600. So 200 and 600 gives you 800. Make sure that you write the actual value out. You don't want to just write 8. So 800. 4, now that's a 4, but it's in the tens place, so it's 40 plus 80. So 8 and 4 give you 12, but it's really 120. Okay, so you can add those two together. And the last one is 7 ones plus 8 ones. And we can add those together, and that gives you 15. Remember before, 7 and 7 plus one more, 15. Now we'll walk down and pick them up. And that's 800, and another 100 is 900, 920, 930, 935. All right, so that was how to add using three different strategies. Um, and based on that, you kind of have to pick the best one that you feel most comfortable with. There are a couple other strategies out there, um, but those are the three main ones we're gonna talk about today. And um, all right, let's try some, and good luck, have fun. We'll see you later.